the ocean. The Quran uses imagery to convey its deep meanings. Here it describes the state of the unbelievers as darkness out in a deep ocean, which is covered by waves, above which are waves, above which are clouds, layers of darkness, one upon the other. When one puts out his hand, therein, he can hardly see it. Those God gives no light to, they have no light. It is commonly thought that waves only occur on the surface of the ocean. However, oceanographers have discovered that there are internal waves that take place below the surface of the ocean. These waves are invisible to the human eye and can only be detected by specialist equipment. This description is not only remarkable because it describes the internal waves in the ocean, but also because it describes darkness deep in the ocean. A human being can dive no more than 70 meters without breathing equipment. Light is present at that depth, but if we go down 1,000 meters, it is completely dark. 1,400 years ago, there were no submarines or specialist equipment to discover internal waves or their darkness deep inside the oceans. Number 8. Lying in Movement There was a cruel, oppressive tribal leader named Abu Jahl, who lived during the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. God revealed a verse of the Quran to warn him, No indeed, if he does not stop, we will seize him by the forehead, his lying, sinful forehead. God does not call this person a liar, but calls his forehead, the front part of the brain, lying and sinful, and warns him to stop. This verse is significant for two reasons. The first is that the front part of our brain is responsible for voluntary movement. This is known as the frontal lobe, a book titled Essentials of Anatomy and Physiology, which includes the results of research on the functions of this area states. The motivation and the foresight to plan and initiate movements occur in the anterior portion of the frontal lobes, the prefrontal area. The part of the brain that is responsible for movement is said to be seized if the man does not stop. Secondly, numerous studies have shown that this same region, frontal lobe, is responsible for movement and lying. The Quran links movement and lying to this area. These functions of the frontal lobe were discovered with medical imaging equipment, which was developed in the 20th century. Number 9. Pain Receptors For a long time, it was thought that the sense of feeling and pain was dependent on the brain. However, it has been discovered that there are pain receptors present in the skin. Without these pain receptors, a person would not be able to feel pain. Consider the following verse on pain. We shall send those who reject our revelations to the hellfire. When their skins have been burned away, we shall replace them with new ones so that they may continue to feel the pain. God is almighty, all wise. God tells the people who reject his message that when they are in hell and their skins are burnt off so they can't feel any pain, he will give them new skins so that they continue to feel the pain. The Quran makes it clear that pain is dependent upon the skin. The discovery of pain receptors in the skin is a fairly recent discovery for biology.